Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here, and today I have something kind of special. I'm showing you all some of the rarest game box systems that I have, which are the jewels of, you know, my collection. I've spent much of my life tracking down some of these these boxes, especially this one. It took me about 20 years to finally track down uh, a, a version of this I could afford. And so I love having these on my bookshelf. They're just a total blast of nostalgic joy. If you're watching this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know why it's so fun and so cool to collect these systems. For me, it's just a reminder of walking into Toys R Us in 1995 and just you know seeing this stuff on the shelf it's like ah you know my little my little kid heart you know pounding with excitement and so yeah it's just it's just great and right now is a really special time because as the the retro collecting hobby is gaining a little bit of popularity in recent years we've got things that i could have never dreamed would be available and especially available at an affordable price and that is like proper protection and in and missing inserts for game console boxes for box systems it just like blows my mind this is even a thing um and and so yeah i wanted to give a shout out to the people i got these from because they are so cool and were so nice and um you know just like me it's just a one person you know small thing that they're doing and so I wanted to give them a little bit of love. Uh, Dan from Retro Protection sells these really nice uh, plastic uh, boxes that you can get. Um, I don't remember the type of material exactly, but um, they fit like a glove. And he'll even like figure, help you figure out like, oh, I have the second version of the Model 2 Genesis box or whatever. And it just fits perfect. Uh, Quick disclaimer, or not disclaimer, but quick note, um, I have not peeled off. There's actually a protective film on these, which is super cool. Like, that's like high grade. Um, so that, you know, it protects it from any kind of scratches or stuff before you've got it all ready to display. Um, and also, you know, dust and things like that. So I'm going to wait maybe till the end of this to pull off the protective film and give you like the full on, you know, it should be pretty crystal clear once that happens. Like it, look, it might look a little bit foggy, but that's just because of that protective film. Um, pretty sure. And uh, so yeah, Dan worked with me to get these. He he does do combined shipping. And if you want, you can. Um, this is the box it came in. Just to show you all, it's a nice little flat box, um, where uh, much larger than the actual. You know, this is probably the, the Genesis was probably the biggest one that was in here. So you can see he makes it so that, you know, corner bumps and stuff like that in shipping are not going to damage it. He packs it really well. Of course, they're flat in packaging and then you, you fold them out. Um, amazingly, this is so cool. He makes the box for the, the American Virtual Boy, but the case for it is identical size to the Japanese one. That is kind of mind boggling to me. Uh, super cool. So um, I just bought the American Virtual Boy. It fits perfect. And I bought the, this, the Genesis 2 here, of course. Uh, my nice, beautiful Genesis 2 here. And, um, and then I've got one, which I'll, I'll show you on screen, on camera here, for the Sega Nomad. Really, really cool that there's a Nomad one. Um, I feel like that's such an obscure system to do this for, and I just love that. And so in addition to Retro Protection and Dan from Retro Protection doing, uh, doing this, we've got a saint um, over at Console Boxes who goes by the name of Pandora. And they sent this uh, wonderful message here in this box. And you might be like, well, what was in here? Notice the really nice corner foam. This was shipped from the UK, from England, and they ship inserts and um, replacement boxes, like actual mock-up boxes to match the original. Now, I didn't need a mock-up box because I've got an original Sega Nomad, but what I really did need was the cardboard insert. I have, I don't know if this is an earlier or a later version, but this is the really crappy inserts that came with my box and you can see they're already damaged and no, no way, no how do I want to be storing my rare system. You know, I guess you put it on either side and then shove it in there and it's just, 
eh, not really wanting to do that. So um, there was a different version made that Sega made back in the day, which is this this version, which is like a proper insert box. And I'll show you. I mean, this is just so cool. Um, it's just like a perfect replica of what the original insert is like. And, you know, if you know anything about engineering or even if you don't, I mean, the work that goes into this cannot be easy. And so, yeah, check it out. Now I've got my, uh, you know, all my paperwork and everything just looks like brand new. And what's more is Pandora at console boxes also sells the bags. This is actually a reproduction plastic bag and it's even got all the like attention, you know, um, plastic bags can be dangerous or whatever that they put on there in the nineties in all the different languages even. I mean, how cool is this? Um, and I mean, just all the details are there. So this actually pops out and folds up, but I find I don't really need to do that, but that's the stock way. Um, the battery holder here, I mean, it fits perfectly. And you can see that they even went to the effort to, like you can see it actually bends out the cardboard just slightly, just like it would stock. And they even got the curves, the corner curves, uh, the radius curves there. I mean, just what a cool attention to detail. And just fits like a glove. So this is, I mean, this is really cool. I have, I have no like affiliation with either of these folks, by the way, this is my own money. Like no one's sponsoring this or anything like that. It's weird that I have to even say that nowadays because everything is like all sponsored on YouTube, like crazy, no affiliation. I'm just a fan. I think this is super cool. And this was, yeah, obviously my own money and everything is spent on this, but like, I mean, seriously, that is so cool. And I mean, it doesn't move or shake or anything. And so, yeah, this is, uh, who, who would have thought, man, who'd have thought that I'd buy a, you know, I probably bought this 10 years ago and, uh, here I am finally for the first time ever being able to put it all back together. Like a, like an original console box. Let's see if it fits in here. I haven't done this part yet, but looks, looks pretty good. Looks like it uh, fits perfectly. Oh, so cool. And it actually kind of fills out this box more unlike the other original, you know, these things. It doesn't actually push out the cardboard the same way to give you that, that uh, you know, that the nice uh, flat surface and everything. And look at that. Oh, Sega Nomad box, baby. Oh, so cool. And so now I've got my retro protection box and it even tells you right here that uh, peel the film. So that's why it's a little bit um, not super clear is because there's film all over it. And so we'll, we'll peel that off. But first I'm going to put it in here, make sure, make sure it fits and all. And, and I mean, the prices on these are really reasonable, especially considering that I had to import that insert from the UK, I think all fees, everything combined, it was like 30, 30 something dollars. And then the little bags you can get are like two, three dollars, maybe, 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 maybe like five dollars with the conversion rate. I think they're two, three pounds. Um, so really, I mean, really just reasonable prices, you know, for really rare stuff. And, you know, this all has to be custom. You know, this is very custom kind of stuff. You know, you're not going to like be able to call like a plastic supplier and be like, give me a Sega Nomad box, you know, and like how many of them, you know, are, you know, are they even going to sell? Right. So it's just so cool that they're doing this. And, uh, just, uh, my, my 10 year old self is really happy right now. <laughs> and this is, uh, wow, this is so neat. And so now, you know, if you've, if you've had your, your consoles, your console boxes on the shelf, like I have over the years, you know, I mean, I, a lot of times I keep mine in the closet cause it gets, you know, all so dusty. It gets like a, I had a huge thick film of dust on the top of my virtual boy box that I was able to clean off fortunately without any 
issue, but I don't want that, you know? I want I want my uh, I don't want to have to dust the actual old cardboard because, you know, with age, it's not it's it's getting more brittle, you know? So, yeah, really really nice to protect stuff and gosh, look at that. This is with the film still on it. It looks amazing. Let's see what happens when uh, when I peel off the film here. I got to find where I guess the whole thing is film. Uh, maybe it's it covers the whole all even the sides too. I'm just doing this gently, so I don't, probably more gentle than I need to. It's kind of fun. It's like kind of like I'm opening a Sega Nomad again. Ah! I, I shouldn't say again. I never got one as a kid. Um, one of my one of my big life regrets was I turned down a brand new one from Toys R Us back in the day. I was like, Mom, I already have a Sega Genesis. Why would I want another one? Please, somebody kick my, my 10-year-old self for saying that. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at, how, look at how clear that is. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, yeah, this film is like... Yeah. Maybe I should have done this before putting the box in there, but... Getting a nice idea. Wow. Look at that. Wow. I mean, just crystal clear, super nice. Big, big thanks to Dan for answering my questions and helping me get this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this later off camera because it'll probably take me a bit to carefully undo all the film and everything. Um, I'll do undo the film off film off camera. Badoomch. Anyway, uh, just wanted to show you. I got to do it for the other two boxes as well. Take off the film, but it's wow, so cool. So cool. So, yeah. And then um, if you want to uh, advocate very gently for me, talk to Dan and ask him to make a clear box for the Game Gear. He said he, he has to order these by quantity and hasn't gotten enough interest in the Game Gear. Come on, folks, the Game Gear. And also they make like three, I mean, they make a bunch of variants of the Game Gear box. But I feel like this one's the most common, um, especially the one with Sonic 2 built in. That's right, I got two because I love the Game Gear. And uh, I would love to get two, you know, two holders for these. I should also check. I didn't check if they have, uh, I might be missing some inserts for one of these too. I should have checked on with the, uh, with the. Uh, with console boxes. So yeah, I'll put in the link here. I'll put links in the description, but retro protection are the clear things. And then console boxes or console boxes UK are the, the cardboard inserts and the reproduction outer boxes that you can get. Um, try to support them through their website if you can. It might be cheaper as well than like eBay, um, but you can do either. But just, you know, eBay has a lot of fees and stuff for sellers that can be really annoying. So, um, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Check. I think I'll try to put the link to their actual websites as well, so you can order direct from them. And uh, yeah, ask if you want to, you know, very nicely ask Dan to consider doing some Game Gear boxes and a Sega CDX protection box. That would be so cool. I have a box CDX. I'm not going to pull it out right now, just because I'll save that for another video. Um, but my, the, the absolute crown jewel of my collection is a very mint boxed CDX. The box is not mint, but everything inside of it is totally mint and it's amazing. Um, so I'd love to get a, protect, a protector for that because that thing is so expensive now. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, oh, yeah. If you order the inserts and the reproduction game boxes uh, for Console Boxes UK and you don't want to order direct from their site and you want to do it through eBay make sure you go to ebay.co.uk because the search result will not show up if you're searching the American eBay. Um, and But you can just message them on ebay.co.uk, search for console uh, search for console boxes. Um, again, that's... Uh, and they have an email here too, so I guess you can email them there. And um, yeah, sweet little card here. And oh yeah, here's the website, consoleboxes.com. You can search console boxes. And uh, yeah, it'll come right up. And so they sell the reproduction boxes as well. I feel like I'm just repeating myself. I also didn't show you all my my awesome Sega Nomad carry case, but 
Let me know if this was helpful and if you want to see videos like more videos like this from my collection. Um, I've never done like a proper unboxing video of my systems before because a lot of people do those already. But people might be into like a Sega CDX unboxing. That's pretty uncommon. Um, also, I recently uploaded scans of my Sega CDX box uh, onto Sega Retro. Sega Retro, awesome site, by the way. Um, I'll try to link those in the description. So if anyone wants to make a reproduction Sega CDX box, it'll probably be Console Boxes UK. That's why I made the scan to give to them. Or why I am uploaded it was to give to them. I made the scan a while ago. Um, but that would be super cool to have a reproduction Sega CDX box. Also, I uploaded scans of the Panorama Cotton Mega Drive manual because I've wanted for a very long time a high reproduction version of Panorama Cotton because the original is over a thousand dollars and uh, that manual is absolutely gorgeous and some saint on the Sega 16 forums messaged me with it years ago but those forums went down and I don't have their contact I didn't save it I never expected those forums to go down so um, sorry I can't give them credit but I did share it with the world so I'll post links for for those two things uh, in the description uh, again, none of this is sponsored in any way whatsoever. This is my own money and me just doing shout outs for cool people doing cool things. Give them some love. Retro Protection, uh, Retro Protection, which is Dan, made the clear things, and Console Boxes UK, uh, which does, does the reproduction game boxes and inserts. Folks, it's a great time to be a retro gamer. Much love to all the fans out there. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.